from KPRC. You're watching Local 2 News Sunday morning. Well, now to a Local 2 update. Last month, we told you about a community center in Southeast Houston hit several times by thieves. In fact, the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Center was burglarized while we were there doing our story. Now, thanks to a local businessman, that youth center is being better protected from crime. Here with us this morning, Eric Cooley with High Tech Integrated Solutions. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let me just start with a little bit of backstory. How did you get involved with the community center? I had seen the report that y'all had run initially on the center, and uh, that made me want to just reach out to the community and, and see if our company, uh, High Tech, could could provide a service to, to the community center. You know, it's such a sad time. I mean, I know a lot of people um, are struggling and, and maybe going to means that they normally wouldn't do, but a community center being targeted by thieves has really got to pull at your heartstrings. Is that kind of what you were thinking? Yes, ma'am. That's, that's really what, what hit me, to know that the kids that, that were going to that center to, to learn and to play on the playgrounds and uh, to be fed were, you know, they couldn't play on the playgrounds because of the drug needles and they would get there and their computers were stolen and things like that. And uh, I just... No, no kid should have to go through that. Absolutely. About uh, $8,000 worth of just computer equipment stolen uh, by thieves. We were there doing the story. A lawnmower was stolen. Right. So, I mean, it just seemed like one of those, you know, brazen things. What you did to step in is you donated a security system? Yes, ma'am. We donated a what's called a video analytic system, uh, a camera system that puts a virtual perimeter around the building. And if anyone crosses that uh, perimeter, then we can speak down to them through microphones and speakers that we've installed and told them that they are on private property. Okay, and this is kind of what we're looking at here. This video is actually um, what the, the different cameras that are around the property. Yes, ma'am. All monitored on computer. Yes, ma'am. Um, this is a huge donation at a time when uh, lots of businesses are struggling. Um, $40,000 system? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, it, 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 could, it could be that much, uh, you know, anywhere from twenty to 40000 just depending on labor. And, uh, and, you know, things of that nature. I just, what's your reaction that, you know, I'm sure that the, the group is so thankful. Um, have you really kind of grabbed the scope of, of what you've done here? <laughs> uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I'm just glad that our company, High Tech, could step up. Uh, we do a lot. We've been doing a lot of work around the city for, for many years, uh, not only in security, but in fire safety and those type things. And um, I was just glad to have the opportunity to be able to step up and, and help somebody in need. Did you actually go down to the property before you installed? Yes, ma'am. And what did you think when you walked around there? Uh, that it, it definitely needed to be secure. Um, you know, and it, it was a shame that, that the kids were unable to uh, walk the playground where the drug needles were mm -hmm. being found. And, and uh, actually, kids were out there playing while I was there. And it was, you know, it just touched me that, uh, that I could go out and help them do that. Well, the fact that you stepped up and, and did that, I'm sure uh, it, it's such a wonderful story to tell. We appreciate you coming in this morning and, and sharing your generosity. Uh, Eric Cooley, again, with High Tech Integrated Solutions. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you.